This new Skoda Superb is one of the best cars in the midsize sector. You'd be crazy not to consider it. Although admittedly slightly funny looking from some angles, the Superb's overall visual impact is nonetheless one of imposing confidence. It also seems, to be frank, absolutely enormous. Can you hear me down there? Just about. Can you speak up a bit? It's actually no longer than a Ford Mondeo. Parking it isn't easy though. The rear windscreen is tiny. We'll come back to why in a moment. For now, let's just say the optional park assist system is essential. And at 350 quid, costs what a lot of car makers would charge you for parking sensors. The great thing about the length? Well, if you've ever fantasized about being a limo driver, this is the car for you. Just check out that rear legroom. In the front, the quality is excellent, and we love this subtle green illumination. Just check out the climate control. And here is the latest Volkswagen Group touchscreen sat-nav system. Ace. True, some of the plastics are a little scratchy, but these have been cleverly disguised. Generally speaking, the word that springs to mind inside is premium. But that's not its only trick. This is a range-topping elegance. So it's fitted as standard with intelligent front headlights, which adapt to towns, motorways, even rain. And at the back, the Superb's genuine, legitimate USP, the twin door. Looks like a saloon, right? Shut this, wait a second, press the second button, and amazingly, it's transformed itself into a hatchback. How versatile is that? The twin door's mechanism is what cuts down on rear visibility. But aside from that, this is one big car that isn't at all intimidating to drive. It's relatively narrow, so it's surprisingly easy to place on the road. The steering's well weighted, the suspension's brilliantly damped, and this 140 horsepower turbo diesel engine is full of enthusiasm, even if it isn't the very latest technology. The engine returns nearly 48 mpg combined. Shame it isn't a little quieter, but the noise it makes could be worse. Just as this six-speed gearbox could be slightly less notchy. And the ride could be slightly less firm. Skoda may now command mainstream pricing. Without options, this superb costs £21,500. But, given the level of quality, it would almost be cheeky to expect anything less. We really like this car. The Skoda Superb? Absolutely. So, what do we think of the Skoda Superb? It's got so much interior space, you almost don't know what to do with it. It's lovely to drive for something of this size, and the twin door is a small stroke of genius, even if it does cut down on rear visibility. The ride quality lets down the limo experience, and finding somewhere to park will occasionally be a bit tricky.